So tell me, when you got down, what was your lowest weight? My lowest weight was uh, 229 pounds. Uh huh. And how tall? I'm six foot two. Okay. So at that point, did you consider yourself pretty fit cardiovascularly and lab wise and all? Had you had a return to health in that regard? I had um, the perfect heart rate, everything. I was in shape. I, people thought I was a football player. Yeah. And how did you feel just in terms of the difference between how you feel as you sit here now compared to when you were working as a trainer as you're seeing on screen behind me here? I'm, I'm trying to catch my breath. Yeah. I walked 50 feet. Right. So it's, it's, my health is really bad right now. Right. Now, in, in terms of your history, I mean, let's take a look at this. At 11, you were 190 pounds, and the average is 78.5. Yeah. So at, at that point, you're more than double. Why is that? Um, I um, turned to food when I was a child, uh -huh. and um, that's how I got through a difficult childhood. And what was difficult about it? I was molested while I was, when I was a child and... Um, from what age to what age? From about six years old. Uh -huh. It happened a, a couple times. And that weighed heavily on you, very understandably. Yeah, it, I didn't want to make friends anymore and I, I just wanted to eat and um, everybody would just pick on me, it seemed, the older children. What kind of things would they say to you? They would say hurtful things. They would um, just call me lard, and a hog and just throw things at me and just make me feel inhuman. Now, when and, that um, happened, you were, this, this started happening at what age? Um, I would say first grade, it got really bad. I ended up getting my arm broken from a bully at the new school that I came to and I just became a, a punching bag, it seemed, for the older kids because I was so much taller than everybody. Here I was, just a little kid, and people were just beating me up. Right. And when that would happen, when people would throw things at you and they would call you names and really demean you, what would you say to yourself about that? I mean, honestly, what would you say to yourself? You believe it. You believe what they say. And so over the next four years, you gain almost 200 more pounds because at 15, you're 385. At 19, you hit 450 pounds. Uh, at 26, you hit 600 pounds. So it kept going up. At what point did you decide it's gone too far? Back in 2002, my mom died from cancer and I was afraid to go to the hospital to see her. And I didn't get to say goodbye to her when she died because, because of my weight. In 2003, I said enough was enough. But then when you lost the weight and you got down into the healthy range, yeah. your internal dialogue didn't really change. In my mind, I was still disgusting. I was still an animal. I was still not worthy of anything. 